Hello guys, welcome to Obsensed. My name is Sylvia and I'm obsessed with scents. So I'm super happy to um, film my second video. It's been a while, um, but I'm back again. And the topic I want to cover today is party scents during the colder months. So party scents in the winter time. Um, you know, in winter, in the colder months, you have to wear something heavier or, well, I would recommend uh, to wear something heavier, something that, that is, you know, strong enough um, to be smelled also during freezing temperatures. And um, I would not recommend wearing su something super fresh because maybe you won't be able to, to, um, to smell it or others won't be able to smell it. So um, I've got um, some choices for you guys. And I also want to um, describe the situation or the clubbing or party event i would imagine this uh or these uh choices would fit perfectly so stay tuned i really hope you like my content i would be really happy if you can subscribe and you know give this video a thumbs up so i can or you can help me grow my channel that would be really really uh, or i would appreciate it a lot okay guys so let's start with my all-time favorite a uh, party scent um, or you know nights out scent and that's Givenchy's Hot Couture. I love and adore this fragrance so much. It's been for years in my collection. Um, it's something I've never smelled before. Even now you know there's so many or I've been you know diving into all the niche fragrance world and I have never smelled anything like this. Um, a super sexy raspberry with smoke. It's super, super juicy, uh, dense, liquid, syrupy in the best way possible, guys. It's really, really a sexy scent. I have got so many compliments, really, like I can't even describe it. I discovered it actually um, because I watched uh, a video from Rosita Applebaum, if you know her, like years ago, and she was telling that so many people, you know, um, gave her compliments on it. So I was, yeah, I was curious. I wanted to test it out. Um, and then I, I uh, met my best friend and he was like, oh my God, you smell so good. And I was like, okay, um, I think I got to, I gotta buy the bottle and <laughs> this is my second now and um, I even had like a list with all the compliments I got because I couldn't believe how like how many reactions I got on it um, actually at one party I got like two compliments within five minutes so I, I still remember that because I you know it was like magic I don't know like what is this you know um, and really you have to try it if you haven't there's also the EDT version which is supposed to be a bit fresher, a bit fruitier, I think. I haven't smelled it. I love the EDP version. It's darker, I have to say, and I wouldn't blind buy this. So please go check it out if you can, because mm, at the beginning I was I was a bit unsure, to be honest, but then like it convinced me and now I'm obsessed. I'm still obsessed with it, even though I think, yeah, like more than like six years, seven years in my collection and I, I still, really really love it so um yeah it reminds me of all the party nights i had um and still it's a very yeah my, uh, my party signature scent i would say um and i know i smell good when i have this even though yeah it's it's super heavy so be careful when you spray it um don't over spray but it lasts hours really then the next morning you still smell it um i really really love this one couldn't rave about it enough. Uh, yeah, go check it out if you can. A real, I, I think like I have, there is not so many people talking about that, right? So um, go check it out. It's a hidden gem, I would say still. Um, yeah, check it out. <laughs> okay, so let's continue with another, uh, in my opinion, hidden gem because there are not so many people talking about that. Um, and I discovered it also because of some uh, reviews I I heard on, on YouTube and also, you know, um, online. I'm talking about Lust by Lush, if you know that brand. Um, wow, this one is the most sexy jasmine 
ever really it's I love it I really 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 love this scent but please don't blind buy this I had like um, it really had to grow on me I had like the first time I was like please what is that scent and it took me some years to really like it because it was like um, some some years ago I went and tested it and it was like no 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 way it's not my cup of tea at all really it was that disgusting to me um, and then you know I wanted to give it a try and this year actually I went back and said okay I'm gonna you know test it again I saw another review on it and I was like okay let's give it another chance and then I went and I was like okay I want this bottle really it's really really good especially for winter because it's also that potent it's really it's really loud um, yeah please don't overspray it I wouldn't recommend to overspray this one but it's I haven't smelled a jasmine this good really I always have to smile because I love scents so much but this one it's really 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 nice I haven't and um, I mean it's super recent in my collection so I haven't got a compliment on it but I read and you know um, when I when I was searching and there, there this is a really uh, comp uh, a compliment getter so it's important to know if you're like going out and you want to you know uh, get some attention really good one especially men uh, are supposed to really love this one so yeah um, Lust by Lush a really um, a cheapie also I, I, I paid like 40 uh, euros um, and this is 30 uh, ml so I think it's really great for the price it's super niche quality I have never smelled something like this this is like really 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 this is perfect and I imagine wearing this to a bar, you know, like a really, like maybe a speakeasy bar, um, like a hidden, you know, top secret spot in the in the city. Um, the the lights are dimmed. It's like you know, um, really dark, and you get also this, you know, this really like uh, American bar feeling. Um, I get this vibe. Well, maybe it was because I was wearing that when on a night like that but I picture this really mysterious cozy extremely elegant place with you know this leather sofas and really good cocktails uh, wearing maybe all black um, with some maybe you had have red lips on so like a very mysterious but really 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 sexy um, outfit and vibe and you know this yeah totally like the name name says <laughs> let's move on to another fragrance um, i would recommend especially if you're like um, somewhere outdoors you know here in austria for example there are some christmas markets i love that um it's also good a good idea for a date you want something that is still uh you know smelled or it's it's you know you you smell uh, even though it's really cold and you're outside and maybe there are a lot of different uh, scents around there like the like you know the hot wine or they're making some cinnamon rolls or I don't know you know a lot of different scents uh, you get at this at this occasion and I really really like Tom Ford uh, Pour Femme, Noir Pour Femme sorry um, this one is also go uh, um, old but goldy to me I really like this one. It's so mysterious. This is, it's. It was one of the. I think one of the first like more niche fragrance I had, or more like darker scents I got in my collection. But then I had like four or something. Now I have you know a lot more. <laughs> but it's also as it's had. It has been uh, some years with me. It's still the same 30 ml, but uh, you don't have. You don't uh, want to spray this a lot, uh, like maybe one, two, three, four, like four spritzes are super enough, but it's super dark, cozy. I also like to wear this actually like on winter days, like in a day. Um, I really, really like this. It, this is also a compliment getter. I have I received good comments on it. Um, it's mysterious. It's 
it's also like dense um like I I really like all this recommendation I'm giving to you guys so um I'm I think you may know this already because it's uh, like you know super well known in the frag community but I really really like this and especially it uh you know it works perfectly with this cold cold weather okay another favorite um uh, for that occasion uh, is Angel's Share. I'm sure a lot of you guys know and love this one. It's a really really good good one for the winter time. It warms you up. You need this cozy feeling when you're walking around the street. It's cold. It's really cold. Um, but this one is the perfect combination to that. I really like it to, you know, get this feeling. For me, a lot of people say it's like a a warm apple pie for me it's it's more like a it's more like an apple juice uh, a warm apple juice but with alcohol with some liquor in it um dark cinnamony with this yeah slices of apple like a warm apple juice but with uh liquor it's definitely some alcohol in here um but so you get this feeling um love this one another one for uh night at a bar like a really fancy maybe a roof to bar something in the city uh, a choice for that occasion would be elizabeth and james nirvana rose i really really like this one i, I it was a blind buy to me um or for me Whew, it's so good it's a really cold dark rose it's not juicy, I have to say that for me. Maybe it's along the lines uh, of Atomic Rose, kind of the similar vibe, but it's not that potent, it's not that sweet. This is really called a cold rose with smoke around it. A really dark, dark, dark rose, really. Um, I love this one. Really, you get this uh, Elizabeth and James DNA, definitely. Um, I used to really like the combination of the black and white one, um, but this one is a really good one. I would say, I don't know if it's, if it's a safe blind buy. Um, to me it was like, I mean, I think if you like rose, then it could be because it's not that expensive. So, you know, I, want to, I wanted to risk it. Um, but for me, it was like a really, really love at first sniff, really. Yeah, like I said, a cold, dark rose. Um, perfect for the winter time. I think the projection is not so... It's not the best and it's it doesn't last that long. So maybe you can, you know, take this with you on, in your bag or something to refresh it or something. But the scent is so good that I really... And also I love the packaging. Like it's super elegant, sophisticated and I really like this one. So another one uh, that I really love for the winter time and also you get to you know go out or maybe maybe a date um, is I have also uh, only this little uh, sample but I'm talking about a Black Phantom by Killian. This is the woof the best boozy scent ever. Really, I, I enjoy this a lot, but it's not a safe blind buy. Please, guys. You have to check it out. I have to spray this because I really love it and enjoy it a lot. So I'm like, oh my god, it's so cozy. Um, I really like this one. Uh, I also get this licorice vibe. Uh, super dark. There's also coffee, I think. Um, it's super cozy. It's super cozy. I don't really think that... You know, it's not a crowd pleaser, I would say. It's like for the more mysterious more powerful uh, people out there, completely unisex. All these uh, guys are unisex. So I'm, I just want, you know, to describe the situation. I will wear them, but please feel free to wear them wherever, where, whenever and wherever you want. This is also one I could wear, like um, if there's an outdoor event or something, also for a really fancy bar inside a very dark, mysterious uh, date, maybe. <laughs> I love this one, but um, you have to try it. I think um, the first time I smelled it, it didn't like convince me. Now it's like, 
it's kind of you know addictive so um yeah you i can't stop smelling my wrist i really really enjoy this one um so i, I really like to wear you know just for me and because i i really think that mm, I wouldn't, if I wear this, I wouldn't be sure that everybody likes how I smell, you know? Um, it might be really a bit too heavy for some, but to me it's really a really cozy winter scent. I really enjoy wearing it, as I said, and yeah. Okay, um, another super recent discovery. I love this so much. Really, really, really love. Um, and it actually surprised me because I'm not the biggest vanilla fan out there. I I don't know about you guys, uh, what about you? I, I know a lot of people really enjoy vanilla, vanilla scents, but I'm not, you know, I don't know why. But um, this one, it was like a yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, what is this? Um, I'm talking about Insulo by Jeroboam. Jeroboam, <laughs> can't even um, pronounce it, sorry. Jeroboam. So this one, um, there are only there are only three notes listed: uh, vanilla, musk, and jasmine. I don't smell the jasmine. I don't really smell musk, but I smell vanilla and berries. I don't know why. It's such a juicy, juicy berry vanilla. I don't know why. Um, a lot of reviews like nobody tells that they smell berry. I don't know why I do, but like. I can't even describe it. For to me, there are more berries in in here than vanilla. I don't know. It's incredible, incredibly good, really. It's really expensive. Well, like thirty ml are like um, hundred euros more or less. But to me, it was like so worth it. I really did order the um, the full bottle with the thirty ml because I was like blown away. I need this vanilla scent in my collection because I'm not the biggest fan. Of vanilla and this one is like a really a, a top a top 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 perfume now especially for this for uh, you know this uh, wintry cold weather uh, or for these uh, these times you know where it's getting cold inside for me this is a super good calming scent um, I wouldn't wear this to you know party out there actually but you can wear this totally if you're going to to a bar, to a fancy bar, maybe at a restaurant, I don't know. But um, for cuddling, I would recommend this one. Um, I, I don't want to uh, to use this actually, but I know how, you know, how insane I'm, I am about this. And I already ordered the, you know, the bigger, bigger bottle, but um, still super good one, would recommend. Actually, I would say this is a blind buy, really a safe blind buy, because I really can't imagine someone don't liking it, but, or well, unless you really can't stand sweet scents. But if you don't like vanilla, I would still say give this a try, because I really like, I, I really don't like vanilla, actually. And this was, this one was like, oh my god, what is that? So, Jeroboam, um with its insulo perfection <laughs> okay i got another one um maybe you can also if you really like enjoy and, and enjoy like sweet scents and uh, this one could be a really good one for going out i'm talking about inside out by the gate paris this one is <sighs> when i when i smelled this I bought this really I think this this perfume was one of the ones that captivated me like from the beginning it was like oh my god I know this I know this scent like from a very very luxurious spa hotel lobby somewhere in I don't know Dubai or something this is so so good it's not and um, when I said like I remember or I know this scent it's not that everybody smells like it at all this to me is like a really really you know spa cozy vanilla but there is it, it's vanilla but with this spa vibe like it's a very vanilla spa feeling cozy uh juicy really really thick the only problem i would say it's that this is so heavy like you may need actually one spray for your whole you know body actually i would i would never spray here and here like it's too much 
it's really like maybe one spritz you go through and that's it um that's the thing like may maybe um to you it's like a, a perfect thing i don't really like when it's like too much but it's perfect i get like this cozy home feeling but it's really really good so luxurious um i would say please give it a try if you can smell this because it was for me like love at first sniff completely like period <laughs> so i really like this one uh, i think or some recommend it also for the summertime i think that's perfectly fine since it's a more you know a heavier perfume i would say that it's also um very good for the winter time so give it a try okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you um liked my recommendations i hope there were some choices that you uh want to try now <laughs> um yeah i really like wearing you know special um scents for special occasions i really like imagining that and and you know thinking about the specific scenarios and i really like to to describe them and and show you what or how i perceive a special uh, perfume so i hope you enjoy it too um i would really appreciate it if you you know subscribe and like this uh you uh, like this uh, video and yeah i'm so happy to be here to be talking to you guys to tell you more about my passion to share this passion with you and i'm happy to give you more content so thanks a lot and see you